Hello, I'm back again. Oh, I need to put my hair up. Okay, put my hair up. Oh, maybe. How are you today? How are you doing? How was your week? How is your week going? I mean, it is only Tuesday. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Okay, sorry. I'm just a little bleh today. Okay, so I am gonna say hi with my beautiful scary you can't even see it I'm trying to be all cute I have my cute little art apron Blah. anyhow how are you today how are you doing are you doing all right today I am going to do a swipe and I've only done this one or two times they turn out really pretty and so we're gonna do a swipe and pour today all right, I am a little far away. I'm gonna try to tilt this down a little. Pardon me. There we go. There you go, you don't need to see the top of my head anyway. <laughs> okay, so the colors, this is a commissioned piece. Um, it is for somebody who's going to put it in their office. We're gonna use an eight and a half by 10, or eight by 10, I have hooks on the back. I've already taped off the back so that it doesn't get all gross and weird on the back. And that's set aside. We're going to use Artist Loft today. We're going to use Artist Artist Loft Metallic Black, Artist Loft Burnt Umber, Artist Loft Parchment, which is like a slight tan, and then Artist Loft Silver. His office is like tans and browns and blacks and a little bit of gray. And I figured, you know what? Pfft, let's put silver in it. Silver's going to look so much prettier. So I've already put the M1 um, uh, pouring medium. It, it's, it's a latex paint additive extender. It just kind of helps it flow. Helps the paint flow. My hat. And I've already got that in the cups. So, actually what I should do, now I'll use it because it's metallic. I was going to turn around and grab the black ivory that I have behind me that I just did on the record pour and decided I did not want to do that. Obviously you can tell I've already used this cup. It's good, you know, I used black. So, Oh, this is really pretty. So, here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. I can't put the lid back on. Nah. <laughs> I'm just cracking myself up, sorry. Okay, so the M1's already in the cup. I should turn it around, see if you guys, not that you're gonna wanna look inside the cup and, I don't know. Okay, I did the, Artist Loft Ivory Black in the record pour and it came out really, really, really thick. And so this time I'm gonna double check it. I, don't, I think I'm gonna use this as the swipe color, honestly. Just need to make sure all of the little, these are, is that a chunk or is that, la 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 la. Still too thick, so I'm just going to take regular tap water, just in a cute pink bottle, you know, put it in there, and I just put a little bit, because you just kind of want to get it to like a soup consistency. I keep looking over here for the, for the viewfinder, and it's over there, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so I just want to kind of get it to, to almost like a soup consistency. Not like a thick soup, but soup. I can't tell, is that a bubble or is that? Oh, it's just bubbles. You got bubbles. Okay, that is so not helping me. My cups are just kind of creepy looking, but I don't mind. Okay, I don't know if you can see that real well. You just kind of put it on the end of the, the stick Kind of get it to just um, 
spread a little. I'm going to actually do a paper towel swipe, and I'll show you that in, in a minute or two. I forgot my popsicle sticks. Okay, so let's do the silver. This one should turn out really pretty, I think. There we go. I don't need like a whole lot of paint for this one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stir and stir and stir and stir and stir. <laughs> I know, I'm just amusing myself. Anyhow, so you kinda wanna just mix in the, the additive and, or pouring medium, whichever you decide to use to get it like thoroughly through the paint so that you've got, you know, you don't want it really thick, otherwise it won't move real well. So, I know a lot of people don't really show this part. They're like, hey, they do one video of here's what it looks like when I mix my paints and then they don't do it again on camera. And I, I honestly, I like to see it. I like to talk to people, you know, while they're doing their thing. So I just added a little bit more water because it's still really thick and that's part of, you know, it being a metallic. Metallic paints seem to always be thicker. Okay, and what you want to double check, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Do you see that and that right there? Kind of looks like a, a chunk of paint. You want to get all of those gone. You don't want any chunks in it because if there's a chunk in it here, there is going to be a chunk in it at the end and then you're not going to be happy. So you just want to take the time to mix it thoroughly and, and make sure that there's no chunks or anything left. Okay, that. I don't know if you can see that one either. I don't, yeah, anyway. <laughs> the angle of the camera, you're not going to see it all. It's just, it's what happens. It's okay. Alrighty. Now let's do some burnt umber. Yeah, I don't think I want to use all of it. I've never actually used burnt umber before. At least not in a one of my paintings. My husband uses it all the time with life casting, but I don't really use it. Okay. So how's your week going? Are you doing anything special this week? Is your work week just like, wow? I mean, it is only Tuesday. It's only partially through the week, but still, you know, how are you doing? Okay, got to add some water to this one. Ooh, the burnt umber is really chunky. Yo, chunky paint. Chunky paint. Chunky paint. Chunky paint. Sorry. Forgot you were there. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't really. I didn't. I'm just trying to put myself in a great place. I had a really rough week. And the last, I don't know, four or five days has been just kind of blah. And I haven't really liked my week very much, so just decided to do some art therapy. Art therapy? You don't know what that is? What? I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, it needs a little bit more water. Just a tad bit. Not 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 like a massive amount. Oh, and you may see a dog fight. Well, not fight, but a dog hiney end running around behind me. I have one of the dog kennels is behind me on the floor. And it, the little dog sleeps in there. And my big dog, my puppy, just wants to play with the little dog. And she doesn't want to play, so she keeps running back and forth behind me. So if you see some little fuzzy thing going, you know, just flopping around, it's my dog. Can't do anything about it. She just wants to play. Okay, so let's see if I can get that on my neck. Just kind of want to, it's still a little thick, but I'm okay with that. 
Okay. Set that one off to the side. And now let's work on parchment. It kind of reminds me, it's a little bit more tan than an ivory color, but it is truly, really pretty. Oh, it is a little chunky too. This may take a, take a couple seconds to do. Sorry about that. I like using Artist Loft paint. The viscosity of it is very different than, let's say, a deco art or the Americana. Americana is deco art. <laughs> or folk art. Folk art. Um, Artist Loft is just, it's a little bit thicker. It's a, it's a little bit higher quality of a paint. And so, you know, oh, that kind of looks, I'm going to show you that. It kind of looks like cottage cheese. Look at it. Look at it. Can you see the chunks? Ew. Ew. And now I'll show you. Look. Look at it. It looks like cottage cheese. It's, it's odd. It's definitely going to need some water. Let's see if we can doctor this puppy up to make it a little not so cottage cheesy. Oh, cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese, but not in my paint. And not on a canvas. I think that would be odd. Just odd. So, okay. If you're watching my video, I know I have gotten quite a few comments about this one right here, this black and white one, and this pink and purple and black one paintings. Um, I'm not quite done with this one here. I still have to put resin over the top of it. Um, I took a skin, which is what we call the paint that falls off of the canvas and dries onto your tablecloth or your tarp or whatever you're using, because you're not gonna do it on top of your table by itself. I'm gonna protect your table. Anyway, it was a some paint that came off of another painting that was done and so I used it to put on that canvas and did a dirty pour and then just plopped it right in the middle of it. Oh, it looks amazing. Close up, it looks like a rose, but I need to put some resin on it because it is that stunning. And so, sorry about the clicking-ish sound you're hearing, that is my dog. My puppy has decided that she needs to eat right now behind the camera. What are you doing? Come here. She's looking at me looking crazy. She's all, what? She's too busy eating. Okay. So we're almost done with the parchment. And I'm going to, there we go, there we go. That one you can probably see. There we go. I'm gonna put you on hold for a sec and rearrange and give you a downward view of what we're doing. Hold on one second for me. We're back. Okay, right now I am taking my finger right in front of it. There we go, treadmill lubricant. And I've got a little pipette. I'm gonna get some in the pipette and put a little bit in each of the colors and then, wow, that sounds creepy, I'm so sorry. Didn't realize how Gross, that would sound. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, I'm just gonna stir my colors a little bit just to get the, the, yep, that thing, the um, treadmill lubricant to go in. So I think, I really think I wanna put the black on the top and swipe with the black, but I don't know how that's gonna come out. And I don't want it to be too dark, so I don't really care. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm just gonna take the paint. Let's move this off to the side. And I'm just gonna kind of lay the paint across the canvas, you know, in different, different areas. It doesn't really matter which direction or, you know, how I do it, that mattered. Did you see that? Do you see that? That's a chunk. I do not want 
a chunk on there. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the paint and do exactly what I did with the tan. We're gonna do the brown here. Just kinda wanna, you know, get it across the canvas. I'm gonna leave that edge there for my swipe. So let's put a little bit of brown on this side. Kinda wanna kinda get the paint to go off the edge of the canvas a little so that it kind of flows a little better. I think I need to get a little bit more tan on the edge and I can see another chunk of the tan. My tan really just did not mix well apparently. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Yeah, that's, that's my, my blobby sound effects. Nah. So now we're going to take the silver, just kind of put the silver in between the colors and I'm going to have it right there. And I think that that is good. I'm going to do some tan in the middle of that silver there like that. I think I want a little bit of the brown, a little of the darker brown, the burnt umber kind of in there. We're going to set that aside and now we're going to do our swipe color. So our swipe color is this black metallic right here. Can you, you can see the metallic in it a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I've got my swiping paper towel right here. It's wet on one side and I'm going to, in fact, I may put a little bit of black just throughout it just so I get like a little swipe of, you know, just a little tinge of, of black throughout it. And I'm going to just kind of make a puddle here all the way across the edge of the black there. There's my black. Now I'm going to take the moist end of this paper towel that I'm fidgeting with off camera. <laughs> you just can't see it. Meh. Okay. So I'm going to actually stand up and walk over here. So basically I'm just going to take the paper towel, set it on the black, and just kind of swipe it, and I'm kind of putting some swirlies through it. And there you go. And I'm going to turn this around and kind of tap it on the edge because this edge has like no paint on it whatsoever. I'm gonna tap this edge just to make sure I get paint. You do not have paint, so I'm just gonna kind of, oh, no, whatever. Same thing on this side. I'm not sure if there's paint on the edge of this part of the canvas because I can't see it. Let's see. Get a little bit on there. I'm over here. And this side's black, so I'm going to set that down. I'm going to pick up my, my black and try to kind of get the corners. You can't really see it, but there we go. I am really liking this. I'm gonna have you sit there just for a minute. I'm not even gonna back out. Let's see if I can get a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now, oh, that's pretty. I'm setting my torch and I'm gonna torch it. So, basically, oh, can you see little bubbles popping up? Can you see? I know you can see it. Look at it. Wow, that is absolutely loving this. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is a little bit darker. I probably shouldn't have used quite so much black. And I'm going to stop the torch for a second because I can already see. Actually, let me get. This is a blob of paint that is just 
should not be there. Are you a blob? You're a blob too. What? Oh, I was not paying attention. There we go. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my gracious. You look like a blob too. Are you a blob? You are a blob. What in the heck is going on here? I don't know why I got all these blobs, but you know what? It's okay. What if I just kind of swipe you in that direction? I kind of want to swipe the other way. I really kind of want to swipe from, from like here, here, but then I really don't because this is absolutely beautiful and I'm loving this. I'm going to add a little bit of paint to the sides. I'm just picking up some of the paint that, you know, fell off the table or fell off the table. <laughs> Some of the, it fell off the canvas. It kind of drips down on the sides. I really, really, really want to do something else to this. And I know when my husband sees this, he's going to be screaming at the screen. Don't touch it. I kind of want to lift it and see if I can get some of this to go that direction. But then I don't. These are gorgeous. So let's. Since I got the chunks anyway, I got the chunks out. Let's just see if we can a little bit more. This metallic black. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. I'm getting little baby cells. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to have to do like a, a close-up for you. I'll use my pointer stick. Yeah, how about that? I got my little pointy. If you look in here, all of this, it looks almost like, like an, um, an alligator skin almost is, is what it looks like to me. I'm going to take a little bit more of the metallic out of the cup because it's kind of going a little, a little thin here on the edge and I want it to just kind of flow over. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. There we go. Oh, and apparently my neighbor has decided that right now is the best time he can have, um, the only time he has to mow his lawn. So I apologize if you hear a lawnmower in the background. There we go. Just trying to make sure that I've got like a fairly even coat of paint on the edge of this. I guess I shouldn't really worry too much about it because the guy that commissioned it is not going to be worrying about it. It's going in a in a frame, like a shadow box frame. Oh. Oh my god. I'm going to get you off the tripod and see if I can get a little bit closer of a look for you. So, I'm going to pause you for a quick moment and we'll be right back. Look at that. Just look at it. Look at how gorgeous that turned out. I'm gonna kind of move my hand a little. See if I can get as close as I can down in there without like smacking it because you're still attached to the tripod. Look at it. Look. There it goes. Can you see it now if it'll focus? Do you see the lines in the black? Kind of makes it look like, like an alligator skin almost. There we go. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Look. Looky, looky, looky. I love it. I absolutely love this. Great job. Great job, guys. Give me one second and I'll turn you back around. I'm back. Oh. Oh, my hair. Oh, it's looking a little nuts. I'm going to sketch this back here so you can see it right in front. Ooh, I'm kidding. I don't really care. Anyhow, all right. This one is done. Thank you for joining me again. Um, yeah, I think this one is probably one of my favorite swipes that I've done. Absolutely one of my favorites. This is gorgeous. The black metallic turned out 
better than I thought it would. I'm really impressed. I'm thinking I've got three other canvases sitting off to the side, so I might be doing other videos tonight. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. Um, hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload more videos. And leave me a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this. Have you done a, uh, a swipe pour before? Swipe pour. Huh. Have you done a swipe painting before? Have you not? If you have, do you use a paper towel? Do you use, I don't know, a piece of cardboard? I've had people use like tiles, you know, a tile sample or a wood sample or whatnot. Tell me what you use. Tell me if you do it. Otherwise, thank you guys for joining me again. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And remember, life is art. Bye.